In our previous discussion, we only looked at the communication aspect of two-phase commit, and we didn't look at the logging piece. So this time we're going to go through it again, but with all the logging of messages properly accounted for, and then we'll be able to talk about what happens during crash recovery. So on the right-hand side of this picture, we have a coordinator, and on the left-hand side, we have a single participant. So in phase one, the coordinator is going to tell the participants to prepare, so it sends that prepare message. The participants, when they receive the prepare message, are going to generate a, a log record of whether they're prepared to commit or whether they're going to abort. In this case, we're going to say we prepare to commit. And then after flushing that log record to the log device, then the participant can respond with a yes, no vote. Okay. So only after the log tail is flushed with that prepare message is the yes vote sent back to the coordinator. When the coordinator gets all the votes from all the participants, if they're all yes, it'll generate a commit. If they're any of them are no, it'll generate an abort. It'll put a commit record in the log tail. When that log tail is flushed, we are done with the end of phase one of two-phase commit. Okay, so now at this point, we know phase one is complete. All the participants have logged their votes, and the coordinator has logged the overall decision. Phase two begins with the coordinator sending the results of the vote to all the participants. In this case, it's a commit. The participants are going to log that they received that message. So they're going to log whether it was a commit or an abort. Once that log record is flushed to their local log, then they can send the acknowledgement to the coordinator. Uh, at that point, the coordinator will generate an end log record for the transaction. And at some point, eventually, the coordinator's log tail will get flushed to the disk. And at that point, the transaction is truly complete. So in a nutshell, this is the two-phase commit protocol. Time is going from top to bottom in this slide. The coordinator is on the right, the participant is on the left, and the messages are on the arrows. And you can see it's a two-round protocol, two-phase protocol. Each round has a message in each direction. And you can also see the log records that are being generated. And these log records have asterisks on them if they have to wait for the log flush before sending the next message. And you'll see in the protocol we've learned so far, all of those log records need to be flushed before a message is sent. And I'll tell you, we will not learn in this class, but there are optimizations to this protocol where we can avoid flushing some of these log records. We can lazily put them in the log tail and send our, our message afterwards without waiting for a flush. But we haven't learned those optimizations in this class, so you can assume that all these log records have to be flushed for the protocol to work. The only one that is an exception is at the very end, the end log record doesn't need to flush for the transaction to return to the user. That's just like we have in a single node database.